Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll dig into four key parts of a successful design system. Principles, foundations, documentation, and processes. These are some of the most important aspects of building a design system. Each of these topics are deep, and we won't be able to cover everything in our time together. Instead, we'll focus on what you need to get started. After learning these basics, consider the needs of your team, business, and system to determine where you may need further learning. And if you'd like for any of us to do a deeper dive on any of these topics, let us know in the comments. Now, let's get started. Principles are the why of a design system. They're the guiding standards and approaches that reflect the company's beliefs and values. A strong set of principles directs everyone towards a common goal and helps people get aligned when conflicts arise. To create impactful principles, you need to include perspectives from across the business. How is the company represented by brand and marketing teams? How do writers communicate to customers? What is the experience when something goes wrong and customers need support? Get together with partners from across the company and share some ideas. See if you can spot recurring patterns, characteristics, and actions among them. Then establish some principles that are easy to understand and to put into practice. A principle might have a defining characteristic, an understanding of how this impacts the customer's experience and contributes to business goals, and clear examples of what this principle looks like in action. For example, the Habits team who are designing an app to help people form healthy habits brainstorm principles with people across the company. They identified a common theme, which became the principle be accessible and inclusive. They included notes to describe the principle in more detail, like the service should be available to the widest possible audience, to clarify what inclusive means, and celebrate prioritizing accessibility to build a strong culture around this principle. They also documented clear considerations for teams as they build, like, are we testing your software using accessibility testing tools? Are we testing with a wide range of users? Can people navigate all pages with screen reading software? Lastly, they included actionable suggestions like, use existing industry standards such as Web Content Accessibility Guidelines 2.0, published by the World Wide Web Consortium, and eliminate jargon and use easy to understand plain language. Try it yourself. Set up a FigJam file to brainstorm with your team. Work together to gather ideas, ensuring that everyone has a chance to provide input. Try to identify common themes among the ideas you captured, and define three or more principles that your design system should include. Remember that your principles should be clear, opinionated values your team believes in. Have fun with it! In the next video, we'll learn about design system foundations including accessibility, layouts, typography, color, and more. Ready to move on? We'll see you there.